Daniel is a text that was written and compiled in the 160 BCE as an apocalyptic fantasy about God intervening to bring to an end the oppressive regime of Antiochus IV Epiphanes. It did not happen. It did not happen. It did not happen. It did not happen. Antiochus IV Epiphanes attacked and defeated the Ptolemy dynasty and conquered their empire, sacking Jerusalem to use the funds of the temple. Between 174 and 163 BCE promulgated several ordinances to achieve the Hellenization of the Jews. He tried to suppress the cult of Yahweh. He prohibited Judaism by suspending all kinds of religious manifestation, and he tried to establish the cult of the Greek gods. The imposition of Greek ideas made the Jews feel enslaved. Now, there are a number of reasons that scholars overwhelmingly agree that the Book of Daniel was compiled and brought into its final form in the 160 BCE and not during the Babylonian exile. But the one reason to focus on is the fact that the history in the earlier periods of Babylon and the Persians is wildly inaccurate and less detailed. But the history becomes more and more detailed and accurate the closer we get to the 160 BCE, up until God's supposed to intervene, at which point everything becomes totally inaccurate, which is a good indicator that that's the period in which the author is writing and that the author is describing things in their own day and then bringing in God's intervention. Unfortunately, Daniel didn't accurately predict God's intervention. And so, in order to have any relevance today, people must renegotiate what was written. People might say, well, let's reread it so that we can find ourselves in the narrative. <laughs> 